Hello, I'm Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to work with essential graphics inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is a new update that came in 2017 spring edition of Premiere and After Effects and it allows you to actually edit templates made in After Effects inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So even if you don't have any experience using After Effects, you can go get the top-notch introduction templates uh, lower thirds or whatever you need that it has been made in After Effects and you want to change the text, course or whatever, you can do that now in Adobe Premiere Pro using the Essential Graphics. So Essential Graphics is right here, you can go to Window and go for Essential Graphics right here. That will open up a new window like so. I just docked it right here so you can actually uh, drag it out here or just right click and dock this panel. And as you can see, you will have a few folders that are uh, default by Adobe, but of course these things doesn't look, well, they don't look that great. So what you can do is go and find or work together with people that are very experienced in After Effects and use their intro templates. The lucky thing for you is that we provide these templates uh, on our website. You can buy templates made for Premiere, but actually designed in After Effects, like these few examples that you can see right here. So what you can do once you bought one of our templates is go to the install motion graphics template. Find the folder with the essential graphics templates and like for example right here we have a 3D cinematic Grinch title zoom. I'll use this one and I'll open that up in my essential graphics panel. Now what you can do is click here sequence and create a new sequence. Once you have a new sequence you can drag your new essential graphics into that timeline change the settings if you want to and let it load. Okay, so we can close the essential graphics or we can dock it right here and actually we need to dock it because we need to edit a few things on our template. So you can see right here if we're going to zoom in a little, uh, a little bit on our timeline, I will render into out for my example. We have it right here inside of Premiere Pro. So really cool. And if you click on it and go to essential graphics right here, you see the browse and edit function. You can go into the edit function and right here. You can change your text to something else. So this is how you change the text. You can also position your text differently like so. You can increase the size right here. And same goes for the second text right here. And then you can also change the gradient colors for the text. So you can go over here and change the colors and you'll see that everything will get updated like so. So pretty cool. You can do a lot of cool things inside of the essential graphics. And this is basically it. So everything that we allow you to change will be uh, yeah, available in Premiere. So every project has something different that you can manipulate. So it depends on your project, but I hope this gave you a better understanding on how the essential graphics work inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And then I'll hope to see you on our website pretty soon. Thank you for watching and goodbye.